The e-commerce revolution has brought unprecedented convenience and accessibility. Consumers can purchase anything with a single click delivered right to their doorstep. This ease and convenience has fueled an economic boom, propelling businesses to new heights. E-commerce has become integral to our lives, transforming how we shop and interact with the world. But behind this digital storefront lies a complex reality, one that demands our attention. While celebrating its successes, we must acknowledge the environmental and social consequences of unchecked e-commerce growth. The relentless pursuit of speed and affordability has often come at the expense of our planet and its people. From carbon emissions to exploitative labor practices, the true cost of our online purchases remains largely hidden. It is time to confront these uncomfortable truths and chart a new course for e-commerce, one that aligns profit with purpose. Today, every click, every purchase leaves a negative environmental footprint. From the energy required to power data centers to the packaging waste generated by home deliveries, the environmental costs of e-commerce are substantial. The global shipping industry, fueled by e-commerce demand, is a major contributor to greenhouse gas emissions. Deforestation, driven by the need for cardboard boxes and packaging materials, further exacerbates the climate crisis. And the problem extends beyond shipping and packaging. Fast fashion, fueled by the ease of online shopping, generates mountains of textile waste. Returns, while convenient for consumers, often end up in landfills due to the complexities of reverse logistics. These practices have real-world consequences, contributing to pollution, resource depletion and climate change. Addressing these challenges requires a fundamental shift in how we approach e-commerce. We need to move away from a linear take, make, dispose business model towards a sustainable circular economy that seeks to manage stocks and flows of materials at their highest value and prioritizes end-of-use collection, remanufacturing, reuse, repair and finally recycling. Businesses must adopt sustainable product and packaging solutions, optimize logistics to reduce transportation emissions, and embrace renewable energy sources. The pursuit of low prices and fast delivery often comes at a human cost. Warehouse workers face grueling conditions and inadequate pay while delivery drivers navigate precarious employment models. The global supply chains that underpin e-commerce are often rife with labour exploitation, with workers in developing countries facing unsafe working environments and unfair wages. Beyond labour practices, issues of diversity and inclusion loom large. The tech industry, which drives e-commerce, still gravels with a lack of representation, perpetuating inequalities within its ranks. Access to the digital economy remains unequal, with marginalised communities often left behind due to the digital divide. Creating a more equitable e-commerce ecosystem demands a multifaceted approach. Businesses must prioritize fair wages and safe working conditions throughout their supply chains. Transparency and traceability are crucial to ensure ethical sourcing and production practices. Investing in workforce development programs can help bridge the digital divide and create opportunities for marginalized communities. Section 4, Redefining Success, a holistic, sustainable approach to e-commerce. The future of e-commerce hinges on our ability to redefine success. It is no longer enough to measure progress solely in terms of economic growth. We need a more holistic approach, min main, one that considers the well-being of our planet and its people. This requires a fundamental shift in mindset from a focus on short-term gains to a long-term vision of sustainability. Businesses must embrace a triple bottom line approach, creating a beneficial impact on people and the planet alongside profits. This means integrating a sustainability operating system into every aspect of their operations, from product design to supply chain management. It requires transparency and accountability allowing consumers to make informed choices about the products they buy. 
consumers also have a crucial role to play. By supporting businesses that prioritise sustainability and ethical practices, we can drive market demand for change. We can choose to buy less, but better, opting for durable and sustainable products over fleeting trends. We can embrace the principles of a sustainable circular economy, repairing, collecting and reusing, and in the end, recycling whenever possible. Section 5. The Future of E-Commerce. A call to action. The challenges facing e-commerce are significant, but so too are the opportunities. By embracing sustainability and circularity, we can unlock a new era of responsible and positively impactful commerce. This is not just the right thing to do, it is also good business. Consumers are increasingly demanding sustainable and circular products, rewarding businesses that align with their values. Businesses must lead the charge, transforming their operations to minimize, then eliminate their negative environmental impact and increase their positive and beneficial impacts. This requires bold action and a willingness to innovate. From adopting circular business models to investing in renewable energy and ethical sourcing, the possibilities are vast. Governments can play a supportive role by implementing policies that incentivize sustainable practices and level the playing field. The future of e-commerce is not predetermined. It is a future that we are actively shaping through our choices and actions. By embracing the principles of sustainability and circularity, we can create an e-commerce industry that benefits not only businesses, but, but also our planet and all of its species, including us humans. Let us choose a path that leads to a brighter and more equitable future for all. That path requires a business to integrate a sustainability operating system, such as my Design Like Nature framework.